removal of a malposition implant, and guided immediate implant placement in the number two location. This particular video is a little challenging to see, obviously, it's in the number two position. And the implant that's been in has been in for five years, it was never restored, and it was placed to the buckle, as can be seen in this image, as well as too far distally to actually be restored in any sort of effective manner. So the first thing we need to do is retrieve the malpositioned implant. And we do that by starting off with a piezo, with a piezo tip, a peritome tip. We're going to follow that up with the Brasser 859 burr, which is a very, very thin diamond burr that's helpful for root tips as well as uh, removing implants. So we troughed around the outside of the implant and we're going to retrieve this implant. And you might be thinking, okay, so obviously you're going to graft this and let this heal, but that's not the case. This implant was so far off from its position that we believed that we could do a guided surgery and place the implant in the idealized location all in one appointment. So we've got our surgical guide ready to go. It's a blue master cylinder with blue guide sleeves according to the BioRisons guide kit, guided kit. So we start with a 2-0 drill. And what we're going to do is step through our drilling protocols where we get wider in diameter, but the drill length is the same. Now we're in the posterior maxilla, and we all know that the posterior maxilla has pretty soft bone. So watch what happens with this 4-7 drill. We don't even spin it, and it goes to depth. So we're using it as an osteotome. So we undersize the osteotomy, and we go for immediate implant placement in a 5.8 diameter implant. And the little snap link will let us know when we're down to the proper depth. And depth has been acquired. We remove the driver and remove the surgical guide. We're going to place a cover screw because we're going to go for primary closure in this case. So a flat cover screw goes on the implant and you can see the osteotomy behind where this implant was in the bottom left of this picture and watch as we bring in the original implant. That's how far off the implant was from the, from the desired position that you see in the green. So we're not going to leave that hole. We're going to go ahead and graft it. We're going to graft it with Mineros, which is a cortical concellus mixture from BioRisons. Applying a little damp gauze and then putting a little pressure on it helps to soak up the heme. And you can see we've grafted nicely distally to this. And we've got primary closure. So with bone grafts and primary closure, we want to have some sort of barrier membrane. In this case, we don't want to retrieve it. So we're going to use a cross-linked collagen membrane called Memlock from BioHorizons. We're closing with some 4 sutures, chromic. And we've got great primary closure. What you can see, uh, the white is the implant. The green is the desired location. And then this uh, white implant is superimposed, showing just how accurate the surgical guide is to the proposed, uh, proposed location of the implant outlined in green.